in a perfect world, we would all get eight uninterrupted hours of sleep and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the day, but <laughs> that's not the reality. I mean, yes. the truth is a lot of people get far less sleep than that. And here to discuss some ways that we can all get some better sleep at night and feel more energetic during the day is Dr. Jamie Caroon from Bastyr Center for Natural Health. Thank you so much for being here. Did you see the not bags under our eyes when you sat down? <laughs> we all have them. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, so many of us struggle with getting to sleep at night, especially those of us that, that get up early and frankly, you know, if we're watching right now, you're probably among us that uh, have to get up kind of early. What's the best natural way to get to sleep? It really varies depending upon the person, but there are a variety of practices that are categorized under the heading of sleep hygiene that I think are very effective at generally promoting sleep. Things like only using your bed for sleep, not using it mm. to eat or watch television or read going to bed at the same time each night and waking up at the same time each morning so that your body gets conditioned to becoming tired when that time rolls around. There's a lot of rituals that can be effective, maybe taking a warm bath, burning a scented candle, maybe doing some breathing exercises. These things help us calm down a little bit before bed. And also, we're always looking at screens, our phones, our computers, sure. and our televisions before bed. So, so um, staying away from those for a good 45 minutes to an hour before bed can be helpful, too. What's your take on sleeping pills? <laughs> Prescription sleeping pills? Yeah. I think they are effective for some people and safe for some people, assuming that they're used as a last resort. There are so many things that we as naturopaths would recommend before we would get to a prescription sleeping pill, and, and many of them are very, very effective for people. What about wine? <laughs> Hypothetically. I'm well, alcohol is a <laughs> sedative, and so in some sense it can make you feel sleepy and, and, and maybe make you feel like you're getting quality sleep, but I think the studies show that the sleep that is induced by sedation like from alcohol is not a very high quality sleep. Well, and then on the other end of that, you get up in the morning and if you don't get enough sleep, you just cram coffee or energy drinks or whatever you can find. So is there a better way to do that if you, if you wake up in the morning and you need to feel refreshed even if maybe you aren't? Yeah, I think that is also one of the problems, Bill. Like you mentioned, people are so jacked up on adrenaline because we're trying to be so productive in our busy days and we're jacked up on caffeine and other energy drinks and products and things like that. And so when we wake up off and we just feel sluggish and not refreshed. And I think some sort of practice in the morning, maybe it's getting up, and especially now when it's cold outside, just taking a quick walk around the block, maybe a shower that isn't as warm and comfortable as we normally are accustomed to can help wake us up. And then, of course, I think the most important thing is just consistent exercise on a daily mm -hmm. basis, if possible, because that's going to help regulate our energy levels. Yeah, you know, I think the, the trap that so many of us fall into, and we're so busy these days, mm -hmm. I mean, let's face it, that a lot of times sleep goes by the wayside. We, we, we need to rest. We need to, you know, really get that, that uh, good rest during the day if we are feeling tired, but we don't have time. Yeah, sleep has to be prioritized. It's one of the foundations of health. Diet, exercise, stress management, sleep. It's, it's as important as the food that you eat, if not more important. And we have to realize that taking care of ourselves is the best way to live a healthy and productive life. And so it has to be a priority and we have to take steps that will give us a much better night's sleep. Let's talk about some of the consequences of not getting enough sleep because it's pretty far reaching. I know it's easy to think, oh, then I'm tired, but yeah. it's, it's, that's not it. No. On one end of the spectrum, you have things like irritability the next day or maybe a difficulty concentrating, lack of memory. And on the other end, you have a lot of chronic diseases. There's been a lot of research that has directly connected lack of sleep with things like obesity, hypertension, diabetes. And so it's, it's a very direct biological mechanism for many of these conditions that is connected to uh, sleep disturbances of some sort. How about those of us that have crazy sleep schedules, those of us that, that have to go to bed early and wake up ridiculously early? Um, how do we maintain that? Because, I mean, let's face it, you're not going to do that seven days a week. You're not going to be able to keep that up yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, night shift workers, uh, parents of newborns, you know, there's a specific populations that have real challenges when it comes to that consistent nighttime sleeping. And I think for those people, napping during the day can be very effective. For other people, napping can actually prevent them from sleeping during the night. But for, for people with crazy schedules, if you can find 20 minutes or so during okay. the day to take a cat nap, I think that can be very rejuvenating. And, and real quick, we just have a few more seconds left. What is the correct amount of time for a nap? Well, it depends on the individual. I think 20 minutes is probably fine. 
Um, you know, there's a, a talk two weeks from now on a Thursday evening at the Bass Deer Center at 6 o'clock. It's free, and Dr. Deborah Brammer is going to be offering a lot of strategies, natural strategies for helping to promote sleep, and, and I think she can get into a lot more details, and I would recommend that people check and, that and out. And what time is that? That's happening at... It's 6 o'clock. Six it's Thursday. So right around my bedtime. <laughs> <Hey>. uh, <laughs> You'll have to take a nap that day. Right, maybe so. <laughs> Dr. Jamie Caroon, Bass Deer Center Thank for uh, Natural Health. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Good to have you. All right, 817 right now. Let's toss it over to MJ for a look at your 